everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're taking another look at the Gigabyte Bricks fanless PC. This time we're going to take a look at Steam in-home streaming. And wow, this is an amazing platform. I haven't really even tried this before until somebody uh, asked me to look into it, and I am really impressed with it. So let's pull it up, and you'll see what we've got going on here. Now, when we did the initial test of the Bricks, I ran this natively on the hardware, and it was a little bit slow. So what I'm doing now is streaming this over my home network from my Mac upstairs, which is running Windows 8. So my Mac is doing all the rendering and then streaming it to the bricks. And I have it uh, at 1920 by 1080 right now. We're pushing about 50 frames per second. Uh, it is really smooth. And this is an amazing platform. I'm not seeing any kind of uh, uh, you know, uh, artifacts from compression. It's really, really nice. I'm going to go and just launch our little rocket here real quick. I have a few other um, things I'll show you also before uh, we're done too. So you can get a sense as to maybe how some faster moving games look on here as well. But this is impressive. This is a really good uh, Steam uh, in-home streaming platform. So we'll just launch our rocket here. Uh, again, we're pushing close to 60, about 50 frames per second. Um, and I think some of this might just be rendering delays from my Mac upstairs. It's a MacBook Pro Retina. Um, it is running Windows natively, uh, but it is uh, certainly not uh, a high-performing gaming PC, but you can see it's really playable. I mean, this is a lot more playable than it is if I was just running it on the uh, on the uh, uh, the bricks directly, which you saw in the initial review. So, um, really, really nice way to uh, basically uh, get uh, a little gaming PC, at least that one that can stream uh, your big gaming PC somewhere else in the house, and it is really nicely uh, nicely running here. So. Uh, I'm going to uh, crash my rocket, and then uh, we're going to take a look at maybe a few other uh, things that run on the Steam platform. All right, we're going to check out an older game, one of my favorites. This is called Flat Out, and it's a uh, racing game. And this one, uh, again, we're pushing this at uh, 1920 by 1080 from upstairs. I think this game actually runs at a lower resolution than that. Um, but uh, this actually is a good way to see like a high frame rate game to see how it can keep up with it. And again, I, I was testing this earlier. Um, it was really, really fast. So we'll just do a quick uh, start here. This one might actually run nicely natively on the bricks because this game is from a couple of years ago. But uh, you can just see how fluid and, every, and really just how nice this all runs. I did want to talk a little bit about the Steam in-home streaming. I am really impressed with it. I hadn't played with it before until people asked me uh, to check it out in relation to the bricks. And if you're on a wired gigabit network, it is unbelievably fast in the sense that you saw how well the games ran uh, but also there's no latency it's almost like you're actually on the pc uh, playing it even though you're streaming it over your local network so uh, the bricks right now is connected to my mac upstairs i'm all the way down in the basement so we're a pretty good distance away from it and it's feeling like uh, it's right here in the room with me so uh, but no trip to, uh, to steam uh, would be complete without streaming portal 2 so i'm going to load this up real quick i haven't actually played this game on here yet i, I have it on my account uh, that's creepy, uh, but never got around to it. So let's just go ahead and uh, load it up real quick and see how it performs. But you can see this is, again, running on my Mac upstairs. Uh, it feels like I am right here, uh, you know, like it's right here in the room with me. But in fact, it's uh, streaming over my local network. Um, Wi-Fi will not be as uh, reliable, they say. So you really want to um, get that gigabit running to all of your computers. And I, I become uh, less and less of a wireless fan as I've been doing a lot of that uh, in-home uh, cable box stuff that I did on the HD Home Run Prime and everything. You really want to get uh, some wired stuff hooked up. So here we are. We're running at uh, 1080. Uh, this looks really nice. And again, we're uh, using my uh, Mac upstairs. It is fast. And this is, again, streaming from that to the Bricks PC. So I got to tell you, this is an impressive thing uh, to be able to do this. This little PC is worth every dollar. Like I said, it's uh, when, the initial review is under $200 if you, uh, you know, pr price out the components effectively. And I, I think this is a tremendous value, and it's completely silent. So it can really become like your, the center of your home theater system. It'll play those Blu-ray movies without a problem. It'll do all the Dolby Digital and all the other surround sound, and it'll run uh, emulators and the Steam platform uh, remotely from another PC in your house. So uh, all in all, this is uh, definitely uh, worth taking a look at. And I am just uh, really going to have some fun uh, trying to find some new uses for this. And I'd love to hear more suggestions so I can do more follow-up videos. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.